Okay, on my John Deere 1025R, we are rapidly coming up on one year service. This was changed last April the 6th, 2019, 411 hours. And you probably already know the 1025R takes an M806-418 John Deere oil filter. Well, I'm feeling kind of frisky, so I ordered a Donaldson oil filter. One year later, it's setting at 464.6. That's 53.6 hours use for all of 2019. In the five years of ownership, that's the lightest year that I've put in. Before I put the new filter on, I'll take some brake clean and clean all that off in there. I don't like any oil on there because you leave oil on there, it's just going to attract dust. Then you got a big patch of dust on there. There's all kind of information on the internet where John Deere oil filters are made. I guess it just depends on what day of the week it is or what month it is and all that stuff. This one here on the end cap, it does say product of USA. Underneath, producto de, looks like EUA. So product of USA, so I assume it's made in the USA. Any other time they would say made in the USA, they wouldn't say product of the USA. This was ordered off Amazon. What surprised me was I've read a lot of stuff where a lot of the small Donaldsons are made in the USA. They're not. This one is made in Columbia. I got one for a Kohler engine, a twin cylinder Kohler on a Skag Cheetah. It's made in Poland. It is a good looking oil filter. This one, it is wrapped. Looks like a date code of 10519. The base in here looks as thick as the John Deere. Number of threads look the same. Let's go inside the O-ring to inside. Two point one six. Two point one three. I know that's hard to do because rubber will compress. Two point four six OD on the ring. And yeah, close enough. Let's try the filters. The main body of the John Deere is 2.56. Main body of the Donaldson, 2.69. Well, that part's interesting. That much difference. Look at that. I wouldn't have thought that. By the way, after researching online, the M806418, it does cross over to the P502067 Donaldson, 0.72 inch ID on the threads. 0.71, flash the two. But these are composites, so I don't know how much give is, is on these dial calipers. El Chipos. Pretty nice though. And the length looks idea it looks identical. Well that's what we're going with, the Donaldson. It looks pretty close. Inside. Some of you might be dying to see what's inside. The little slots are a lot 
wider on the Donaldson, but there's not near as many of them either. So I don't know. I hope I don't regret buying the Donaldson. I decided on Donaldson because I could get them delivered to my mailbox by the Postal Service through Amazon. And Donaldson oil filters, they run about 99 to 1 on positive reviews. Not so much a review as in 3, 4, or 5 star. You just about have to check out a lot of the forums. Uh, the big one there is by talk. Bob is the old guy. That's the number one. And then you just have to check out some other forums on outdoor power equipment. So this is what we're going to go with. We'll keep our fingers crossed. Okay, we got the Donaldson oil filter on there. Went ahead and rounded the yards up to 465. Looks like a good fit. It is rounded. I forgot to mention that. It is rounded here. You've got to get her on by your hand if you don't have a strap wrench. So I just got her as tight as I could get it with rubber gloves on. It should be enough. For five years, he's sure been a good one. Hey, thanks for watching. Have a good one. Please subscribe.